let's say you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says in the equation which you can also call a reaction now let's take the question again in the equation above i believe you can see this equation or a reaction above right now the question says listen what are the values of x y and z respectively now this question is extremely very easy you must pay attention to the way i'll be solving this question and at the end of solving this question on the board i'll be giving you all practice questions so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section now let's get into solving this question you know in chemistry before you start solving any question it is very vital for you to understand properly the concept to which that particular question is from and from the look of things this question on the board is all a vital aspect in chemistry which deals with balancing chemical equations or reactions so as a science student it is very important for you to know how to balance chemical reactions and now you can see a question from that aspect now listen properly i already have a full video lesson on my youtube channel that explains exhaustively on how to balance chemical reactions or equation so ensure you go watch that lesson after you are done watching this video lesson though in this video i'll still explain properly to you how to balance chemical reaction because this question is on that aspect now listen properly this is the first step you must take when you want to balance chemical reactions or equation now listen you look at the reaction i believe you are aware that a reaction has two sides we have the product side which is the right hand side of a reaction and also we have the reactant side which is the left hand side of a reaction you look at the reaction carefully and identify these sides which are the right hand side and left hand side now this is what you do listen and listen well you simply divide the reaction into two sides as said earlier which are listen you can see what i've done all right this reaction i just divided them into two sides which are the left hand side which is lhs and the right hand side which is rhs you can see the two sides right and left next step listen don't worry this part of the question that they said what are the values of x y and z we'll come to that and i'll teach you how it works just listen the next step to take simply write out the elements you are seeing in the left hand side and do the same for the right hand side now listen let us identify this element now i can see one element which is symbolized as mn and that element is found in the left you can see it is the first element all right and this element is called manganese it's not magnesium all right magnesium symbol is mg you do that listen and listen good let's write again so i have space here so the first element i can see is what mn i'll do that now let's identify another element another element i'm seeing is o element o which is what oxygen i'll write it down as well please just write out the element you don't have business now with the numbers attached to this element we are going to work on that so you just listen properly now listen let's get into identifying other elements that are present in the left hand side another element i'm seeing is h all right which is what hydrogen another element i'm seeing is cl all right which is what chlorine now after doing that i'll simply just say equal to equal to equal to equal to and stop all right and then i do the same for my right hand side now listen for the right hand side i can see a manganese as well mn or still write it up as well please listen 
and put equal to. Now the next element I'm seeing is chlorine. Now listen, I will ensure I write chlorine where the chlorine initially at the left was written. Then I'll come down to write. We must ensure that they are in the same size so that to understand what we are doing properly. Now listen. Now I told you just write out the element down business with the numbers attached for now. All right. The, now you can see why all these are not elements. All right. They are what the question wants us to determine. I will teach how that works. Now listen. Now the next element is H, which is what hydrogen. So. I will come here and do the same. H is equal to, now listen and listen good, whereby the next element I'm seeing is what? O, are you there? All right, and say O. Now, if you observe carefully, at the end, I saw Z, which they still want to determine, and I saw CL. So there is no need to write that CL because we've written it already. We are going to balance everything. Now, listen and listen good. You know, when you are balancing a chemical reaction, you want to ensure that the numbers of this element you are having in your right hand side equals the numbers of the elements you are also having in your left hand side that is what we want to determine now listen and listen good so the next step to take after you know doing all of this is to simply write out the numbers of this element i'm having before balancing the reaction now listen and listen good now for mn how many mn can i see as given to me by the question how many i can see one mn so i'll write it yes i can see one of it are you there now going over to the next element which is oxygen at the left hand side how many oxygen can I see? Normally, if this two was not here, it would have been one oxygen. But because I have two percent, now the number of oxygen I am seeing on the left hand side is two. Specifically, it's called two atoms of oxygen. But I'm just, you know, trying to make it very easy so you understand what is happening. All right. So this is two atoms of oxygen. So here becomes two as well. So let's check for the numbers of atoms we are having for the next element, which is hydrogen. So this is hydrogen. How many hydrogen are you seeing your left? How many? One. Are you there? So come here and say what? One. Please listen and listen good. Moving further, let's get into the next element, which is chlorine. How many chlorine can I see as well here? One chlorine atom. So here also becomes one. So we'll do the same for the right hand side. So for the right hand side, how many manganese can I see? I can see just one atom of manganese. So here also becomes one. You know, we are just trying to write out the amount of the elements we are having before balancing. So that we we'll know which part of the reaction needs to be balanced. It's just simple, you know, concept. You just listen. So moving over to the next, which is chlorine. Now I believe you can see this chlorine here. How many atoms of chlorine can you see now? Two atoms of chlorine. But you must be careful. Yes, because chlorine is the next element. You must be very careful. You can't just write here and say, oh, I'm having two atoms of chlorine. No, because you must look through the side and see where else chlorine was mentioned or was written. So, here alone, I'm having two atoms of chlorine. Here also, I am having another two atoms of chlorine. So, what we simply do to those two chlorine, we add them together. So, after adding them together, two plus two atoms. So, before balancing this reaction, we had four atoms of chlorine. Are you there? So, moving over to the next, which is hydrogen. How many hydrogen atoms can you see in the right hand side? See, listen, it is just two atoms of hydrogen. So here becomes two. Because if you check carefully, hydrogen did not appear in any other side of this reaction. See, you must listen because at the end of solving this question, I'm going to give you one practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. As Elia said, I already have a full video lesson on my YouTube channel that explains exhaustively on all of this concept. We solve so many type of questions, so many ways. Questions can come on this aspect. So listen and listen good. So moving over, let's go for the elements remaining, which is oxygen. So how many oxygen can we see in the right hand side? Now, before balancing, I can see just one 
oxygen atom so it here becomes what one now you can see we have filled the numbers of these elements as given to us by the question so the question now now wants us to balance it it's just trying to understand the concept and you are you are going to go to balance it remember i said for something to be balanced for a reaction to be balanced the numbers of atoms of these elements in your right should equal the number of atoms of this element at your left hand side so please listen if you observe carefully look at the elements in my left look at the elements in my right you can see they're not the same in some of them some of them are the same like manganese in the left hand one we have another one manganese so manganese is balanced but it can be altered when we other other places in the reaction just listen for oxygen look at it very well at the left we have two oxygen atoms at the right we have just one oxygen atom are you there so for hydrogen at the left one atom of hydrogen at the right two atoms of hydrogen and for chlorine left and right they are not still balanced so we must ensure we balance this reaction properly now guys listen properly let me tell you something for you to be able to balance a chemical equation or a reaction there is something you must know please when balancing a reaction in chemistry you only are expected to add numbers at the front of the elements or compound involved in that reaction you are not to add numbers inside let's say for this manganese now let's say you say okay for me to be able to balance the manganese i'll put two in front don't do that don't put two like inside do you understand you are only expected to add numbers at the beginning all right you can see where this x is there should be a number and that's what we're looking for are you there you can see these days you you add something here that's what we want do you understand you only add numbers at the front you are not expected to add numbers inside these elements or you know compound don't do that because if you do that you get it wrong are you there now listen and listen good there is something vital i have to tell you you can see that we've established the fact that we only add numbers at the front so first of all manganese is okay so we leave manganese all right and work towards oxygen that is not balanced we saw it first but after we balance oxygen we'll go back to hydrogen and go back to chlorine now if you observe we have two oxygen atoms at the left all right and we have one oxygen atom at the right so how do we balance do we add more to this or you know try to add something to this to ensure it's balanced we simply add something to this to ensure that it's balanced you don't want to add something to this oxygen your left don't do that you know oxygen is here now you don't want to add a number to because you don't add any number there. I told you the only way you add numbers is at the front do you understand don't add numbers uh, and change it to something no you don't do that you only add numbers at the front and those numbers you're adding at the front can, is affecting everything do you understand it's standing in front is affecting everything so basically what we simply do to ensure that oxygen is balanced we have two here we have one here look at the one oxygen it's simply common sense you change now you know here was why let's take note of that so what we simply do is to simply add two in the front that's what we do we simply add two in the front of water and that is why when we do that i just explained that the numbers you add in front affect everything that and it's tensing that's what i mean tensing that means this two is tensing this two hydrogen and also this two is tensing this one oxygen atom so two times this one so in this case oxygen now becomes two do you understand because we have balanced oxygen listen and listen well the two any number you add is tensing everything is standing in front of are you there Let's observe we've successfully balanced oxygen so let's go over to work for the next which is what hydrogen are you there so listen you can see for hydrogen here is lesser so we'll simply try our best possible to do something to this side that that is lesser to ensure that it's same as the one in the right hand side so where's the hydrogen here this is the hydrogen so i'm going to remove this x all right i'll put it up we're going to balance it draw arrow down to know the number all right so basically what's happening you just listen and listen good okay we have two okay now if you observe carefully you will see that the hydrogen we now have here will basically change its number listen 
Because we add into, I told you, any number you add in front of a compound, it affects everything. So the two with times this, you know, I told you, it's times that is happening. It is times that is happening, not plus, not divide. So two times this two, what becomes that four? Are you there? That is how it works, guys. These things are very easy. So then, what do we do to this side? This left hand side, but we simply add four. Yes, because if we add four, before we times this one hydrogen, making it to be what four hydrogen. Are you there? So we're going to cancel and put what four because the four has times it. And I told you also, this four is times in everything. So four is that is still affecting chlorine. Chlorine initially was one. All right. So we have been four in front. It's going to be listen, oh, listen and listen. It's going to be what everybody is going to be what four chlorine atoms at the left. So four also for chlorine. So I'm cancel and put what four as well. Are you there? So if you observe carefully. The two chlorine atoms are balanced. All right, listen. The two hydrogen atoms are balanced. Four, four. Oxygen, two, two. Manganese, one, one. So if you observe, we have not done something to that Z. Because once ensure we look for Z, this is very easy. Let me tell you what you do. You just remove Z. Because now, at the end of everything, we are, you know, before we even came over to this side, everything is now balanced. So what do you expect this Z to be? What do you expect it to be? It should be one because you know. Let me tell you, please. No, it should be just number one because uh, one can also be attached. So one times it is still this two. One times two is two. Are you there? So it doesn't affect anything. Do you understand? So the answer to this question becomes: What are the values of x, y, and z? So basically, x is four. Listen. All right. Y is what? Y is what? Y is what? Two. All right, and Z is what one. So what becomes the answer to this question, guys? Four to one, respectively. Look for the option here. That's four to one. That's option D. You can see how questions on this aspect are being tackled without stress. So that is for that. Get ready for your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. For more understanding on this topic. How to balance chemical reactions and show you go watch my full video lesson on my YouTube channel. All right, so get ready for your practice question, guys. Okay, guys, this is your own practice question. So you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. All right, it is very, very easy. All right, this is your own practice question. All right, determine balance the reaction and tell me the value of A, B, C, and D, meaning what are the numbers that should stand in front of these elements. And compounds that's how it works it's very easy all right so we've come to the end of this video lesson if you found my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my youtube channel and also share my lessons to your friends thanks for watching to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen